Right, Katie Augustine uh, with our team coverage in downtown Charleston. As you can see, the Calhoun statue is down, brought bound just minutes ago, a little after 5 o'clock tonight. History made here in downtown Charleston. We want to now go over to Riley Benson. He is with the city of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg right now. Riley? No, don't hold it. Go ahead. Yeah, guys, we're right here in Marion Square with Charleston, City of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg. Obviously a big day for the City of Charleston. We want to talk to him about this, what this means in the City of Charleston. Um, Mayor Tecklenburg, describe what you're, what you're feeling. You see the statue is down. Well, uh, I, a certain sense of relief uh, because he was a little hard to get off the perch, you know. Um, I, and like racism is deeply rooted. Uh, it seemed like Mr. Calhoun was pretty deeply rooted in that uh, column up there. It's a struggle that's um, kind of reminiscent of the struggle that has been experienced, particularly by African Americans in this country and in our city for the last 350 years. So we're mindful of that and um, uh, glad to see uh, us accomplish the task. I was so uplifted to have the full unanimous support of city council in taking this action. And, and I just want to say that uh, a lot of folks think that this is somehow uh, us trying to erase history, but it's not at all. We're going to protect the statue and find an appropriate place in our city to contextualize, to tell the story of Mr. Calhoun and what he believed in, but not in the highest perch in the city overlooking everyone in a more appropriate place. That's, that, that, that's the sensible and balanced thing for us to do for our city going forward. So rather than erasing history, what we're really doing is building history for future generations, one of respect for one another. And that's what this is all about. Obviously, this took a little longer than expected, but you have people here, onlookers, who remain peaceful today. We've seen protests, but you have to feel really good to see things remain peaceful here today. Absolutely. Um, as I said with my council last night, and I feel it amongst these folks, that it's, it's really a sense of unity, of respect for one another, of setting a new chapter for, his, for Charleston's history going forward. Not looking backward, but going forward so that we collaborate, we respect one another, we get along. That's what this is ultimately all about. Okay, we're going to have a question from the studio from Brennan and Carolyn. Uh, Riley, thank you so much. And of course, we appreciate uh, Mayor Tecklenburg spending time with us. We're getting some questions in from viewers. And one question is about the cost of this. Is it worth, worth the cost? And how much is the city of Charleston or... Um, whomever paying for this statue removal. So people are wondering the cost of the statue removal. Was it worth it? And can you maybe give us an idea how much it costs to take this down today? That that will be coming to City Council on July 11th. And uh, and to tell you the truth, um, the 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 contract amount will probably be reduced quite a bit by folks that have been raising funds to help uh, uh, pay for cost of what we've been doing here. So there was one ladies group that raised $20,000 $20, in just a couple of days and they plan to help us defray the expenses. So uh, we, we have to get those numbers in and, and by July 11th we'll know what that is. Oh, we have just one more if that's all right. Okay, I gotta run. Okay, real quick, why now? Why was this decision made now to remove the statue? So the question is, why was this decision made now, just right now? To take the statue down. Why was it made now? Why was it made now? Yes. Uh, Charlie Parker once wrote a, a tune called "Now's the Time," and and now was the time. Uh, the scab of the wound of racism had been pulled once again in our country and the world recently, and it rose an awareness of of society about the ills of of past discrimination, slavery. And now was the time to do it. Now was the time to set a new course going forward, one of respect and really love for, for one another. That's, that's, again, what this is all about. Thank you so Thank much, you Mayor. So much. I appreciate it. God bless. There you guys have it. That was an interview. You heard it from City of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg about his feelings on that statue now down, as well as why that statue, why that decision to take the statue down was made. Brendan and Carolyn?